Hi, welcome back to Game Geeks. I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. Today we're talking about a slightly different version of a supers game, Godlike. Now, this is a rather unusual setting. Most supers games are four color or depending on an existing setting. This actually is supers in World War II which is a rather unusual point of view. You know, but if you think about it, it's not because a lot of the age of comics started about that time. That's where Captain America got his start. And let's face it, what's better than Nazi stomping for a game? Now, one of the things that's different about this game is there's no bright spandex, there's no pulp machismo, there's no in this game. It is a very dark and gritty supers game. It's very easy to get killed in this. What makes it different is this works off of what's known as the ORE, or the OR, One Roll Engine. It is a dice pool game where you roll a number of 10-sided dice, and you don't look for target numbers, you don't look for successes, you don't sum them up. You look for matches. And there are two axes of information you can get out of that big handful of dice you just threw. You can get how well you did, or how high the number was, and that's called the height of the roll, and how quickly you did it, which is the width of the roll, height and width. It's a very interesting system. It also tells you in one roll how much damage and where that damage was. For example, the higher the number, the more deadly the hit. The higher numbers tend to be the chest or the head, where the lower numbers are your extremities. This is a game that simulates the sort of reality you saw in Saving Private Ryan fairly readily. It's very easy to get a limb blown off, even as a super. This game breaks down the power slightly differently. It is, I believe, what they call an effect game. That is, your lightning blast, your psychic bolt, your fireball, all comes from the ability harm. You buy dice for this, and there are three types. There's a standard dice, which you roll and look for a match. A hard dice, which always comes up a 10, which means you always get the best result, but you can't pull your punch. And then there is a wiggle die, which you can, it's sort of like a trump or a wild card that you can set to wherever you want it to be. That way you have control over how good you do at a given time, how well you do, excuse me, at a given time, and you can add to your matches that way. It's a deadly game, but it's very interesting because you don't often see a dangerous and deadly super setting. This is a good game to get your hands on. There's actually very recently been published by the uh, producers of this game, Wild Talents, which is sort of this world where supers exist in a gritty, easy-to-kill world set in modern day. So it's sort of like the proposed future, or one of the things you could do it, I suppose, is the proposed future of the godlike system. So, I recommend this if you want a supers game that has more bite to it, a bit more complexity, and it's just really interesting. In addition, they give you a real and fictional version of World War II that gives you what really happened and sort of some of the suppositions for this, for, for this game, like the fact that the first super that evolved was a Nazi who just believed in himself and the Aryan people so much he could do, he, he could do what he thought he could do, which is fly. So, for Game Geeks, I'm your host, Kurt Weagle. If you have comments, questions, anything you want to see us review... Please feel free to contact us at knweagle at yahoo.com. For Game Geeks, I'm Kurt Weagle. Good day and good gaming.